Welcome to the channel Smart Kiddos. Today we're going to continue Scratch It coding. So in the previous videos, I taught you how to code in Python for kids and beginners. Very, very simple. And we also started teaching Scratch It coding. So if you haven't seen the previous videos, please do check them out later. What are we going to learn today in this video? Today we're going to learn how to make a drawing game in Scratch. So let's start. I have renamed this project to Drawing Game. Now, hover over the cat and choose the paintbrush. Now, I'm going back to the Code tab. Do you see this option right here? Click on that. This is called extension, where you can choose different options where you can add with the scratch blocks. For this video, we're going to choose the pen extension. Now, as you see here, we named this sprite as drawing pen sprite. Let's start with the code, right? Um, I'm going to go and drag the when clicked block. Then I'm going to go to control section and drag the forever loop. So whatever code we put inside, it will repeat forever. Now I'm going to go to motion category and choose the go to random position. Now instead of go to random position, I'm going to change this to mouse pointer. So, this sprite will follow my mouse pointer whenever I move my mouse on the screen. Now, I'm going to go to the event section and drag a when clicked block. And in the control section, I'm going to drag a forever loop. Now, I'm also going to drag an if else block. Let us also go to the sensing section and drag the mouse down block so this block will check if our mouse is down now i'm gonna go to the pen extension and drag the pen down block so if our mouse is down this pen down block should draw but whenever our mouse is up the pen should also be up now let's set our basic color. Do you see this option in the pen extension? Set pen color to red. Well, instead of red, I want to set the color to black. There we go. Let's test this out. Wow, that is so cool. But when we click on the green flag, I want it to erase everything. How can we do that? Well, you see at the very top, there is an option called Erase All. Let's drag that here. Wow, it's clear now, so I can draw more. So now I have created these color buttons and have given them different positions. So here's red button, blue button, green button, yellow button, and black button. Now let's do some code for these color buttons. So let's focus on the red button first. When sprite is clicked, meaning when the red button is clicked, we want something to happen, right? We're going to broadcast a message here, and we're going to call this red. So basically, when this red button is clicked, the pen color should turn red. Now, where are we calling pen? Well, we're calling that here. Drawing pen sprite, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag here. When I receive red, when I receive the broadcast, I'm going to go to the pen extension, and I'm going to set the pen color to the specific color. In this case, it's red. Now, I've done a similar code for the blue color button. So when the sprite is clicked, broadcast this blue message. And 
I've called it here for the drawing pen sprite, set the pen color to the blue. I've done the same thing for the green color button, broadcasting a different message, in this case, green. And then I've called it in the drawing pen sprite, as you can see over here. And then for the yellow button, similar situation, broadcasting a different message, however. So broadcast yellow. And then I'm calling it over here. And then finally, if the user clicks on the black button, broadcast a black message. And we're calling it in this drawing pen sprite as usual and setting the color to black. All right, let's test it out. I'm going to click on the green flag. I'm going to choose red, a little bit of blue, a tiny bit of green, lots of yellow, and a bit of black. Wow, it looks so good. And remember, if you click on the green flag again, it erases. This is great, but I want to be able to change the thickness of the pen sprite. Let's do that, shall we? I'm going to create a variable by clicking on this button, make a variable. I'm going to call it width for all sprites. Great, now we have our variable, but I want to change this to slider mode. All you have to do is right click and change it to slider mode right here. Perfect. This is how you'll be able to change the thickness. Let's do the code for the slider, right? Let's make this work. I'm going to go to the pen extension and drag set pen size and drag it here. Now remember, this is for drawing pen sprite code. All right, now let us go to variables and drag the width. Perfect, let's test this out. There we go. Woohoo, now we can change the width and we ha can change the colors. Perfect. What else will happen? So you can see that the game is working, but I see a mistake here. When I click on the color button, you can see the color is coming near the button and it doesn't look good. I don't want that to appear. So how do I make sure that doesn't happen? Well, I'm going to create a new sprite. So go to the code and create a new sprite. And I'm just going to call this background. All right, and I'm just gonna make a long rectangle at the top of the screen. Now, um, let's go to the code here. So when clicked, of course, we're gonna make sure that the buttons up here, okay, it should show. Let's make the rectangle back layer. All right, so the buttons, the color buttons will show. And we have this pink, background now what is the use of this right how will this help in our situation well let's try it so when i'm drawing something you can see that i'm not able to draw near the buttons and that's exactly what we want now why is this happening we haven't given any code specifically like it should not draw we've just given a simple two line code well this is because background is a sprite and the pen will never draw on top of a sprite, okay? So that is the reason why this simple code is working and it's enough. I'm just gonna make this a little thinner, the rectangle there, perfect. All right, so I created a variable called color and I've displayed it here, you can see, I just right clicked and made the variable as a large readout. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that whenever the user clicks on any of the color buttons, that color should be displayed here so that the user will know what color they're using. So for the color buttons, I have dragged set the color variable, which is this variable, to red. So whenever they click on the red button, it should also make sure that this variable will change to the text red. Same thing with the blue button. When they click on the blue color button, the variable here should say blue. Same thing for the green button. When the green button is clicked, we should set the color variable to green. When we click on the yellow button, 
the color variable should display yellow. And when we click on the black button, the color should be displayed as black. Let's try this out. So I clicked on red, you can see it changed. Blue, green, yellow, black. Perfect. All right, let us make an eraser button. How can we do that? Well, I first made an eraser sprite and renamed it to eraser. You can make your eraser sprite however you want. Let's begin with the code. I'm gonna drag a when this sprite is clicked button. Then I'm gonna broadcast something. I'm gonna broadcast it to eraser mode. All right. Let me go back to the drawing pen sprite. When I receive eraser mode, then I want to set the pen color to white. So it actually looks like an eraser and it will erase the colors. All right, so now I'm gonna do one more thing before we wind this video. I'm gonna make sure that whenever we click on the green flag, that the color variable will change to none. It is very simple to do that. I'm gonna go to black, and then I'm gonna drag a when clicked block. Then I'm gonna go to variables, and drag the set color variable to. And I'm gonna change the zero to none. Perfect. All right. Let's test this once and for all. I'm gonna click on a button. You can see this red. I'm gonna increase the width. I'm gonna use blue. And then I'm gonna use green. And then I'm gonna use yellow. All right. And then I'm gonna use black. Okay. And I'm going to now click on the eraser button. I want to erase some of this. Okay, I can increase the thickness of the eraser. So you can see a lot of it is erasing. And I can click on the green flag so that everything will disappear. And we will start with the empty canvas. Great job! Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Bye!